Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. For the past couple of days, me and my colleague, Adam, have been performing experiments based on conformity. These experiments are based on conformity. Oh, hello again. I didn't see you there. Actually, I can't see much at all. Conformity occurs a lot more often than you might think. What conformity is, is when an individual sets aside their own personal beliefs and morals to fit in with the group think. And we're going to show you quite a lot of that today. Come along. Oh, I didn't know you were still following me. In today's day and age, conformity happens a lot more often than you might think, with the constant fad of being in the know and keeping up with the trend, so to speak. A lot of your friends actually conform when they truly don't even feel the way they say. Tonight, you'll see just that. Oh, hello. Today in our experiment, we're going to test to see if conformity will change someone's view on a math problem and change their answer. We have given a question which is pretty simple to a group of individuals and we will see if one individual will give a wrong answer because the others already gave a wrong answer. Alright, lady and gentlemen, we have a fairly simple math problem here with one definitive answer. Can you solve this problem? Chris, would you like to take a step? It's definitely 16. Alright, Chris says 16, do that, you know what? Examine it, you know what? I'd say 16. Okay, Billy? I'd say 16, okay, now I'm just going to test Rachel, what's the answer to this problem? It's gotta be 16. You know you were wrong, right? I know. Why'd you say that answer? Because they all said it. Was it because Zach said it? Because he's a smart yeah. guy. You're an idiot. I know. <laughs> Greetings. For our next experiment, we began a simple USA chant to see who would join in with us when pressured to. But what we found instead was that half of the school is, in fact, communist. Take a look for yourself. is told a certain amount of people that a certain bird is clearly yellow when it's actually green in reality and we're going to see if the final person who isn't in on it with us will say it's yellow when in reality it's green. To see if people will conform we're gonna tell people that Adam sees this parakeet here as green while I see it as yellow and about four other people are in on it with me they're gonna say it's yellow and see if we can convince this one kid if He'll say it's yellow, when it's clearly green. All right, guys, so me and Adam have been having this debate. He thinks this parakeet's green, and I'm trying to tell him he's colorblind. I think it's yellow. Can you back me up here? What color is the parakeet? I think this is yellow. It's, yeah, it's yellow. Yellow. Yeah, yellow. 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 I guess it's yellow. It's yellow. What? Yeah, it's yellow. All right, so you do know that this parakeet's actually green, right? Yeah. But why'd you say it's yellow? 
I guess I was just going with everybody else. So you just didn't want to what stick out? Yeah. And be weird? Because <laughs> you are weird. Oh, hello. For our next experiment, we are going to test and see if one person will think a certain character is attractive or not based on what others think. See, we believe if other people think someone is attractive, then that last person will have to say they're attractive. Alright, for this experiment, me and Adam are going to have a pretend debate over how attractive this male hunk is, and we're going to go ask some chicks what they think. I think he's, I think he's okay. I, think he's okay. I actually really like his eyes. His eyes? That's what I was saying about the eyes. Cute. What do you guys think? I, I'm telling you, the eyes. Yeah, he's actually, yeah. What do you I think? think he's perfect. Perfect? Yeah. Really? Hmm. Interesting. Alright, so you thought that guy was uh, perfect, as I quote? Yes. Why did you say that? Because I think he's really handsome and he has really pretty eyes. And... <laughs> Alright, so we're about to go over there and we told four of the people that to say that this girl was hot. You know, like... She had good hair and everything. We're gonna see if one of the other guys will uh, say she's hot too. All right, so basically what we're gonna do is you guys are all gonna say that this girl is attractive. Like, I don't know, comment on her hair. Uh, I don't know, stupid stuff. And then when uh, that guy comes back, we're gonna see like if he like, says that he's, she's attractive too. All right? All right. Alright, so um, me and these guys have been having a debate, and I think that this girl is very attractive, and I was just wondering what you guys, what you guys think. Yeah, she's yeah, she's yeah. 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 Well, we're wondering what you think. Yeah, she's alright. Yeah? Yeah. Right. What do you like about her? Her hair. It's nice hair there. She doesn't miss it. Alright. So, did you actually think she was an attractive woman? She's alright, not really. So why did why'd you say, say over there that she was? Well, I mean, everybody else was saying that she was really yeah. hot, so I, just, I kind of agree with that. Right? Yeah, it's like when everyone else is saying that you guys, you kind of, kind of say it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. Okay. All right, thank you. Oh, hello. For our next experiment, we told people to laugh at a joke that wasn't funny and made absolutely no sense at all to see if we can get another person to laugh at that same joke, when clearly it made no sense. Let's see if they laugh. It's so, alright, you ready? It's a pretty good joke. Alright, so there's two polar bears sitting in the bathtub, and one polar bear says to the polar bear, hey, pass the soap, and the other guy goes, no soap, <laughs> <laughs> right? You get it? No. Alright, yeah. One of them says, can you pass the soap? And the other one says, no soap, radio. Stupid joke. Think it's funny? Alright, did you understand that joke I just told you at all? You didn't. No, I did not. They were laughing at it, and you seemed to laugh along with them, right? Why? Why did I laugh along with them? Yeah, you just, I don't know, it was just kind of like what was happening. So you just started laughing? Yeah. You're an idiot. Okay. Yeah. All right, all right. So there's two polar bears sitting in a bathtub, right? And right. one polar bear goes to the other polar bear. Hey, can you pass the soap? <laughs> <laughs> and then the other polar bear says, no soap, radio. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good. All right. So that joke I just told you, what do you think of it? Pretty good. Really? I actually like it. It's pretty funny. You know and that that joke made no sense. I made it up to yeah, make no, no it's sense. Pretty funny. That's it's not supposed to be funny. It's, why'd you laugh? Ambrose. Because Ambrose was laughing. <laughs> <laughs> After today, I'm sure you're aware that it's quite obvious that you're aware that people will conform if it means being an outcast in society. Thank you for watching our most excellent video on psychology and conformity. I'm sure it was most excellent and it was a video.